Good morning and welcome to day three here at the Medeski Stadium. It's the PlayStation Under-15 Boys Schools Cup Final. Bishop Stalford High School against Thomas Telford and here come the teams. Thomas Telford in the white and burgundy and Bishop Stalford in the orange. So the rain was coming, it certainly is, isn't it? Yes, yeah, I'm not sure I'm fancying this crossbar challenge. Oh, Ooh. here we go. Here is Taylor, through on the keeper, and he scored! What a start for Bishop Stormford. Ten minutes on the clock, and Bradley Taylor. That was a striker's finish, first time. What an incredible start here. John Acton, the goalkeeper. The kick wasn't so strong here from the goalie, as you see. Wasn't too bad though, was it? But there's the header and Bradley Taylor first onto it. Yeah, that's all about a striker's instinct. Look at him. Gets away from the defender, switched off at the back. You've got to stay on your feet as a defender. You've really got to stay on your feet and not commit yourself diving in those areas. Silly place to give a free kick away. Lovely photo free oh. kick. Oh, what a header! It's a goal! Bishop Stolfen have scored again. And it's the number five, Freddie Orkman, who scores number two here. Absolutely incredible. And Thomas Telford now have got it all to do. Well, yes. I, I said don't give free kicks away. Silly free kick to go, give away in, in not a dangerous area. Look at this for a ball. Just flighted in. And that run there gets across the defender. I think it's getting across Connor Hobday. Half hour of the game, and oh, he's away again. Oh, They're standing goodness. still. I'm not sure what uh, Joseph Richards is doing now. He's just watching that. Oh, it's an own goal! Bishop Stalford have scored again, and it's a horror show for Thomas Telford. Marcus Ty in the end putting that one into his own net. A Bishop Stalford lead by three goals to nil. What I think. Uh, I think there's a few of the Thomas Telford coaches are scratching their head. I'm just looking down there. I'm not sure they're sure what happened there with their defence, but was, they weren't didn't even be looking to push the, the player. There's the cross in and Ty tries to clear it. Samuels. Keevan Feeney and Taylor Perry are just basically staying upfield now. That's a That's lovely a touch. That will be a penalty. And they've got the opportunity just as we said seconds ago yep. they needed to score now they have the opportunity and Austin Samuels wants the ball quickly time is not on their side Kieran Feeney's keeping the ball he yep. wants it himself Samuels wants it he's not looking up is he no he's not he's got his head down <laughs> watch this lovely piece of skill and drives into the box Ooh, was it right on the edge wasn't it that was close oh, I think, uh, if we had a Hawkeye available we might be um, doing a plane of the box <laughs> Here we go. He is taking himself. He's going to step up. He is. Yeah, he's well, sure what he's a crucial good. penalty this is. This gets them back in the game. Yeah. Just waiting. The officials just chat. I don't know why he's talking to us. Sorry about that. It was just, just outside. Obviously, controversial <laughs> that would be, wouldn't it? <laughs> I just had a look at the replay. Had the... Here we go. Kieran Feeney to try and get Thomas Telford back into this match. Here he goes. And scores! Thomas Telford, very importantly, are back in this game at 3-1. The referee is going to have a word with the goalkeeper. He's going to book the goalkeeper for that. That's not very nice. There's my goalkeeper's union hat on now. All he did was throw the ball away. But uh, yeah, he's got to get booked for that. That's, yeah, scandalous. You goalkeepers might regret that a little bit later on if he uh, does a fact. But here's Good the finish. decision. Let's have a look at this again. My goodness. Now, which part of the leg? Was it the bit of the leg that was in or the bit of the leg? Yeah. The foot was outside the box, but the leg was the possibly on in. the line. Now, if it's on the line, it is a penalty, isn't it, John? It is. I think he's got the right decision there. I think it would have been harsh had he given yeah. a free kick right on the edge. Certainly the players in there, the body, the, oh. the legs in there as well. It's a misjudgment. Oh. Here's Samuels. Samuels has got a chance. There's the score. What a goal for Samuels. Thomas Telford are right back in this match now. My goodness, two goals in a minute. Bishop Stalford. Well, the players are all shouting and screaming at each other. They can't believe that. 
Well, watch this for a goal. Look at that for strength and balance and power. Austin Samuels, we haven't really seen too much of him. He's a highly regarded youngster. Top player, and really the first time that we've seen Adam Crowther get beaten. Oh, and that is calm. Off, but here's a free kick, and it's a long one. The keeper's staying on his line. There's a chance oh. oh, goal! They've been equalised. Three goals in three minutes. Thomas Telford, incredibly a right back in this match. Oh, it's Thomas Morris, isn't it? Is that the substitute? That's Mo yes, Thomas Morris has scored. The goalkeeper almost made an amazing save. Here's time with the kick. Keep, keep gets the hands. flick here, gets one flick, and that's Feeney going up, and that's a brilliant header as well. Oh, keeper does ever so well to try and get on the end of that. 3-3. Oh, three, three. <laughs> what a turnaround. Just wonder if uh, the keeper might have thought that he could have come and punched that one. It was right inside the six-yard box. Oh, it's, uh, it's doodles galore. I think there's some sort of... Uh, Crossword or something going on here. Here's, here's Samuels. He's, he's got the pace here, Samuels. Oh. And he's finished. Oh my goodness. Goal number four. And Samuels cannot believe it. What a turnaround this is. Thomas Telford off. Four three ahead. Four goals. And the Thomas Telford fans are all in the stands now. <laughs> what a finish. Composure here, John, was superb. Absolutely brilliant. His first finish was great composure coming in from the left-hand side, this one coming on the right. This is all about pace and power, but then once he gets in on goal... I think the psychology of this, that half-time break, certainly has played a huge factor with Thomas Telford. Bradley Taylor. Performance in the second half, gives a chance. Good pace hit Taylor, it. Taylor is oh! oh, what a goal! What a goal! What a goal from Bradley Taylor! <laughs> Unbelievable! What, what a strike! <laughs> that is absolutely incredible! The defenders were happy to let him shoot from that distance, and so was he. John, what a strike! Oh. You almost don't need words for that. Wait and see what the result of the game is, but yes. look, entering into the last minute of the game. Yeah. Oh, that's a good ball in deep ball. Oh, oh it's all the way in! The goalkeeper's misjudged, and incredibly, Jack Walker has scored goal number nine in this match with 40 seconds to go. Oh, my word. Who'd be a goalie? John Acton, you've really got to feel sorry for him. He's got his head in his hands. Oh, you've got to feel desperately oh. sorry for him. Yeah. You know, it's a, 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 it's not a great free kick. Can't say that he's really going for the goal there, I don't think. Yeah. He's pumped one up. It's a bit of a hopeful ball. He's chipped it into the goal area, and if indeed it is, it's a harsh for oh. him. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Ian Rawlings, uh, team manager for Thomas Telford. Uh, what an incredible turnaround that was. What a match it was for the neutral spectator. Just what are your thoughts uh, just after the final? Uh, fantastic, great performance by Bishop Stolfin. They did fantastic, played really well. First half, they were very much up for it and we were a bit caught asleep. They came at us, uh, got the lead, got the boys, we regrouped, come back and then at the end. But fair play, good team, they played well, worked very hard. Yeah. The way you came out in that second half and uh, you know, we were saying uh, Austin Samuels, we'd said in the first half he'd, you know, he'd been pulled back into midfield a little bit away from his preferred position up front, and we'd not seen a lot of him so far. We'd heard a lot about him. My goodness, didn't he come out in the second half? Yeah, he's, he's got that in his locker. He's very good. He's very good. Um, and he needed, yes, he was clever enough. He moved around just to try and get into the game. Yeah. But yes, he, he helped us. He's very good. Great finisher. He's got a good future if he keeps listening to the advice. You have 634 teams enter this. I know you're disappointed. Two final defeats. To make two finals itself is an, is an amazing achievement, to be honest. I, you know, we're looking back at the history books. We, we can't really see a lot of that ever happen before. You know, that must be... I know the under-16 boys are, are, are double winners. Double runners up, I know in the cold light of day now, doesn't feel great, but surely when you sit down in a week's time and look back at it, you realise that was an amazing achievement. It's an amazing achievement, but unfortunately when they get back to school, 
the under 16s are going to be ribbing them. Yeah. But that's the way it is. I understand. Well, Ian, it's the under 16s for you, is it, next year with these yes, boys? Yes, yes. Okay. So we'll come out again, regroup, and do our best. Well, you've got a hell of a squad there, I'll tell you. And uh, well done to you, and thanks for coming to talk to us. Thank you very much. Peter Harris, coach for Bishop Stortford. Uh, what a game. Yeah, it was unbelievable. Great game of football. I mean, uh, fair play to Thomas Telford. Um, came back from 3-0 down at half-time. I mean, our lads were confident, obviously, going in at half-time. Um, but we knew they'd come out strong. And my centre-back, who'd not put a foot wrong all game, um, came out and, and he said to me at the end of the game, he said, he doesn't know what happened for those four minutes when Thomas Telford came back at us. Uh, Austin Samuel, two great finishes um, from them. Um, and great resilience, but our lads have sort of demonstrated what they showed all the way through, that they work hard, they're, they're a good team, they play hard together, they work for each other. Um, and right back to September when we first started, we were 3-2 down against St Bonds with 15 seconds to go and we equalised and went into extra time and we're 4-3 down with 30 seconds to go against St Bonds and then won on penalties in round one. So we've sort of done it all the way through, but I mean, it was a phenomenal final. Great. Oh. I was going to ask, in that first round match, when you managed to squeeze it on penalties, did you ever think that you'd have this winner's medal around your neck? Um, no, I mean, it's the, the old footballing cliche of one game at a time. But um, the boys, that, I mean, St Bons was the, by far the toughest game in round one. Um, and then after that, we, we played some good football, scored lots of goals all the way through. Um, we beat the last year's finalists in, round, in the last 16. Um, and then Emerson Park, who were a strong team in the semis, which gave us a really good game. Um, and I mean, when we were three 0 up, we thought we were okay, um, but they came back really strongly, and the boys showed the resilience and the determination, and they didn't let their heads drop, and they kept going and going and going, which was sort of paid dividends in the end. And I mean, it was a great game of football to watch as a as a spectator standing on the sideline. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, well, you're going to hear me and John Scales. I'm sure you're going to watch the match. You maybe watch the DVDs afterwards, which I've got to talk to you about. But ultimately. Uh, half an apology here almost from John Scales in that he gave the man of the match to Kieran Feeney because he, he was so influential in every move they had. But when Bradley Taylor scores the goal, when the question was asked at 4-3 down, for him to pull that rabbit out the hat was just quite amazing, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Um, again, I sort of, I've seen him do that before. So last year when we got to the last 32 against Broxbourne, we were losing uh, with the five minutes to go and he smashed one in from the other side from 35 yards out. Again, I don't know what goes through his mind because you look up and there's a lad free in the area and he's 35 yards, 30 yards out and he smashes it in from there. It's just an unbelievable strike. Um, and again, he scored goals like that all the way through for us. It's not just about his pace, um, but the, the boys all work together and there's a belief and a, a determination, which is phenomenal. And uh, I mean, it is an unbelievable goal. I mean, I've sort of seen the replay and yeah, it's an <laughs> unbelievable strike. It was quite amazing, and amazing to see Thomas Telford actually backing off to say, yes, you can have the shot from there, mate, and he did. Um, you, you've got three teams in competitions this year. You've not done too badly, here, have you? You know, do, will you expand that football presence? Do you think? And so, you know, you didn't enter the under-15 Open Cup, which you know, is that a regret that maybe you should have entered that? Do you think? Uh, no, with the winners, there's no regrets. Um, <laughs> we might have gone out in the first round of both. Um, no, I mean, predominantly we offer the boys as much opportunities as we can as a school. Um, we do. We, we're known as a rugby school, ironically, um, but our football is very, very strong. Um, we offer the boys as much opportunity to participate in as many sports as we can. We run 14 teams on a Saturday um, in the football term to give as many boys those opportunities. So we'll just keep going as we're going. And, and if the boys continue to perform like that, we'll give them opportunities, hopefully, and they'll take them. Absolutely. You'll be with the boys next year in the under-16s then? Uh, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> if, if selected. Well, uh, absolutely wonderful display. You had to win this final twice. You did it. Well done. Congratulations and a safe trip home. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.